Welcome to another training video for C Digital Menu. In this video, we're going to review one of our most anticipated features from our March 2017 update, coursing. With C Digital Menu coursing, you'll have two different ways you can send a course. You can fire courses manually, or you can have courses automatically fire, depending on the intervals you establish. Now, manual coursing will be the default setting. If you want to take advantage of auto fire coursing, you can enable this from the Manage site. To enable coursing, open the Seed Manage site from your Clover Web Dashboard. Located in Settings, you'll notice a new option available called Coursing. By default, this option will be disabled. To enable it, simply click the button. You'll notice the button will then change green and say Enabled. Just above, you'll notice a new button called Coursing. Go ahead and click on Coursing to choose which type of coursing you want to utilize. The default course setting is set to manual coursing. This means the server will control the speed in which each course is sent to the kitchen or to the bar. So let's go through the process of entering an order using manual coursing. On the order screen, you'll notice a new column just to the left of the seat numbers called course. Here is where you can select each course. If you don't want to use coursing, just enter the order under the none course. When you're ready to enter your first course, select Course 1. You can begin adding items that belong to Course 1. You can still continue to add items by seat as well. You'll notice as you do, the cart will display the order by course and then by seat. When you're ready for the next course, choose the course number and begin adding items. If you want to review the entire order before you send the first course, select the All button at the top of Courses. This will show all items and the course they belong to. This allows the server to review the order before sending, which helps eliminate errors. When you're ready to send the first course, select Course 1 on the left. The cart will filter to show only items in Course 1. When you're ready to fire the first course, Tap the button Send Course 1. This will then return you back to the table map. When you're ready to fire the second course, simply double tap on the table to open the order up. Select Course 2, and then Send Course 2. When the courses have been fired, you'll notice a fire icon next to the items in the cart, showing that that course or those items have been fired. Auto fire coursing is the second way we accommodate coursing. The idea here is you can enter the entire order by course and send the order in once. Seed Digital Menu will then automatically fire each course at the intervals that you've set up in the Manage site. So let's review how to set these up. On the Seed Manage site, open Settings. In the Settings page, click on the button at the top called Coursing. Now, Manual Coursing is the default setting. So to change this, let's find the fire mode under course options and click the button labeled manual. You'll notice that it changes now to say automatic and just to the left, the auto fire timing field is now enabled. Auto fire timing is where you can choose at what intervals you want each course to fire out. For course one, you'll usually want this to be set to immediately. This means that as soon as you hit send, course one will fire right away. Now, Let's say course two, you want to fire five minutes after course one. So let's find the drop down box for course two, and let's select five minutes after previous course. This means that five minutes after course one has fired, the items that are belonging to course two will then automatically fire. Continue to do this for the remaining courses. If you need additional courses, simply click the button that says add course at the bottom. Now let's cover entering an order using auto fire coursing. Entering an order is exactly the same as a manual fire. Select the course, followed by the items belonging to that course. Now just like in manual coursing, as you choose a course, 
the cart will be filtered to each individual course selected, showing only the items that belong to it. When you have the entire order entered and you're ready to send it to the kitchen or the bar, select the All Course position and then tap Send Order. This will return you back to the table map. If you open the order back up again, you'll notice the items under Course 1 will have the fire icon appear next to them, showing them that the course has been fired. See Digital Menu then starts a timer based on the intervals you established in the Manage site. Once that timer expires, the next course will automatically fire. Seed takes care of the rest. Now, there's a few things to keep in mind. If you're set up on auto fire and you want to send a course before the scheduled time, you can still do this. Once course one is fired, you can select the course you want to fire next. Let's say you want to get course two going quicker. Once you've selected it, tap send course. Now, keep in mind, once you do this, it will then switch this particular order to manual coursing for the duration of that order. This means you'll have to come back to that order and fire each course manually. Another thing to keep in mind is adding items to the order once it's been fired. If your course has been fired, you'll notice that you cannot add additional items to course 1. If you try, you'll receive a prompt saying this course has been fired. To add additional items to your order, you can choose the None course, or choose the course that has yet to be fired. The None course is usually where you'll place your drinks and your refill orders. Items in the None course will ignore any auto-timing feature and will be fired immediately. Now, if your restaurant doesn't want to use coursing, or you don't need it for a particular order, not a problem. When you start an order, the default course will be set to None. You can completely skip the courses and just go straight to entering your order. See Digital Menu is continually adding new benefits and features. If there's a feature you'd like to see us build, let us know. Our goal is to give you the tools you need to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching.